It's a new day, it's another video. I've seen the last one, I've gone through wires that I need to fix. I've um, rubbed through a couple of wires. So I'm going to fix that today. Um, paint me rear lights. And get everything fitting nice and get the indicators properly wired in. Um, I've got to take off the front end. That's why I'm holding the knife. Good old trusty cable ties. Hold my life together. Let's not talk about that. Now it's on the drive. I've got to take the front wings off. But take the front wings off, I've got to take the side skirts off. And take the side skirts off, I've got to take off the rear wheels. Just want to say a massive thank you to my neighbour who just gave me some gloves. That was tight. <laughs> I have got a gun to take these off, but it doesn't wind out. Which is fucking sick. But I'll tell you what is fucking sick. These titanium nuts from initial parts, absolutely amazing. Lightweight, strong as fuck, highly recommend them. The reasons I've got to take the wheels off is to get to this screw right here, which is like next to impossible to do one-handed when you've got a gammy hand. Gammy everything to be fair. Feels a lot more awkward recording at home. Um, put the wheels back on, so that's to worry about putting an axle stand under it, it's just easier. Um, as it skirts off now, get access to the front wing, get that off, and then see how much damage I've done to the wiring loom, which I don't think much. I think it's literally just the indicators. I hope it's just the indicators. I don't know. It'd be really awkward if you could see up my shorts. As you can see, they come off so easy. Guess what I need that isn't in here? Fucking 10 mil spanner mush. There's, I know this is probably causing anxiety, but this has been dropped on how many times? This is the OG toolkit from way back way. So I've got one of the wings off. Uh, the other side I need a 10 mil spanner for. The side clips cracked, so that's why that one's come straight off. Um, so I'm gonna run to Chris's, going up my tools, that on all over the floor and be right back. Uh, it's a 13. <laughs> Found my trusty 10 mil. Oh, there's my problem. I'm guessing it's got caught here somewhere and it's gone through. Uh, also looks like I'm catching on this piece of metal. So I'm probably gonna take the wheels off and flatten that all out. Um, so yeah, I'm, probably won't record that because it's going to be noisy as fuck, not satisfying to watch at all and 
the mower's going to be going off. So, yeah. I'll be back once this is all done and the grass is cut like my hair should be. So, thankfully, just the problem was two wires that I've rubbed through. Just take them off for now at the ends. I'm going to have to go for the fuses. I've made clearance room for the tyres. I've noticed it's hitting a couple of the places here and another place here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand them all back now. I've got paint. I'm just going to paint my arches, the inner arch. Try to prevent some of the ine inevitable. I've just sprayed both inner arches with some Maguires. Um, I'm going to let it soak for a bit, get all the shit off. I'm going to hit it with a brush and then clean it all off, get all the shit out of there. Thankfully I've put just enough paint in the gun to do both inner wheel arches. Um, they don't have to be perfect, but they are all covered. There's no more exposed bare metal. Um, I'm going to throw some lacquer over it in a second. I'm going to give it some time to dry. Um, I wonder how many people are watching this who watch us use every kind of rattle can. And they're probably watching this going, he's been away for like a year and a half. Come back with proper stuff and a car that's not fallen out of its ass. I uh, got a little bit carried away. I painted the whole inner arch. Those bits aren't runs, by the way. It's from um, the, I think, Grant or Gaz has uh, wax oiled it and just gone straight over it with a brush. Uh, so I just painted straight over it. There's no point in sanding it. I just sprayed over it. This side's got a few bits in it. Well, quite a lot of bits in it because I didn't really sand the tops of it. I wasn't expecting to paint it and my mum's been cutting the grass so there's little bits that I don't really care you're not going to see it, it's underneath the wing it's just all painted nice and fresh So I got a little bit carried away today. Um, I'm gonna put the wheels back on and leave it overnight and come back to it. So this will be part one of two of, I don't know what I've been doing today. I think I started out trying to fix the wiring thing, didn't I? So yeah, part one of two of fixing my indicators. <laughs> Might've been taking two days to fix a stupid wire. <laughs> what a dickhead. Um, I've got to try and find the fuse box inside the car because the one in the engine bay isn't the one that I need. So I've got to find a fuse that's now shorted and fix that and then I'll have indicators again and I'll probably cut my wings as well to put the indicators in. And now just leave the wires for now, I guess, because I'll just be able to solder them in through having the wheel turned and be able to get into them. Uh, and be able to plug it into the actual lens as well. So yeah, nice one for watching. I will see you tomorrow.